Hey everybody, it's the coach, and this is Madden 20 on EA Sports. Coming up next, we've got what should be a good one between the Chicago Bears and the Cincinnati Bengals. With that, let's get up to Paul Brown Stadium in Cincinnati. For the call, we bring in our broadcast team, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. It is a city that traditionally gets much less snow than its Buckeye State rival up in Cleveland, but we are under a thick blanket of the white stuff here at Paul Brown Stadium in Cincinnati. The enthusiasm of this Cincinnati crowd in full effect a moment ago as their Bengals took the field to the delight of this sold-out crowd, and they're all set as they'll match up with the Chicago Bears. I'm Brandon Gordon. He's Charles Davis. Full disclosure, we both have mittens. We both have coats on up here in the booth. This one, it's going to be interesting. I've got the long johns, the socks, the boots, you name it. You know me and cold weather. We don't get along all that well. But these games are always interesting because you never know how it's going to play out. One slip, someone's going for 80 yards, and you could lose a game. Here's Randy Bullock now to put toe to leather. And we are underway from Cincinnati. That'll be taken in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. So here are the Bears now for their opening drive. As we get a peek at the former number two overall pick, Mitchell Trubisky. Play fake to Montgomery. Now Trubisky. And this is going to be caught, but they'll say out of bounds. So it's incomplete. And let's take a look at the Bears offense. We often overuse the term heart and soul when we talk about a player being just that for his team, but not the case of Kyle Long in Chicago. He's shown his ability to be a Pro Bowl guard, a Pro Bowl tackle but it's his passion for the game, his passion for his teammates that sets the tone for the entire team. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Now it's Trubisky. Hits his target, it's Taylor Gabriel. And he's upended at the 33, following a good pickup of eight. Eight yards on the completion, but now they face third down. An early test, two plays in, this is third and two. They go play action, Trubisky, and that is incomplete. You absolutely have to have this early on, right? Third and short, they elect to throw for it, and that's normal NFL football. They're gonna throw on third and short, but you gotta hit it, don't you? Yeah, in the first quarter, like you said, to set the tone, can't connect there. So on fourth down, on is the punter, Pat O'Donnell, to kick it away. We got this. Here come the Bengals now to take over. They'll be led out by the former Texas Christian University Horn Frog, Andy Dalton. And there's no substitute for experience in this league. And what it usually leads to, a whole lot of confidence. Andy Dalton is sharp with where to go with the football now. I think he sees reads before they actually even happen. He can sense them now. And he is one of the better quarterbacks in the NFL. They'll start out here with a jet sweep. He'll be dropped at the 25 after a gain of six. Anytime the offense shows what they call a shot play or a chunk play where they're trying to get big yardage, sometimes people just call it gadget plays, and you hold it to a gain that we just saw there, you feel pretty good about yourself as a defense. The former second round pick, this is Joe Mixon. And he's able to get out to the 32, brought down there. Seven yards there and a first down. I know at times today's NFL sure feels like everything's about the guy throwing the football. But when you get a guy who can run it and move it and gain this type of yardage, you'll take him each and every time. 
from the 32 now. Here's first and 10. They'll run here with Mixon. Ha ha, Clinton Dix there for the stop. And the Buffet Boys, the O-line, hopefully they're ready today. Listen, you got to feed them first. But if you do, you usually get a great product out on the field. And when they play well, the quarterback can't wait to feed them afterwards. Heads up, Larry! Like 59! We own it! We own it! Heads up, heads up! And he went nowhere. He'll lose yardage back to the 29. That second down play nets a minus four. bring out an extra defender in the secondary now for third down. Out of the gun, it's Dalton. This one complete to Giovanni Bernard. And he'll only get this to about the 35, well short of the line to gain. So on fourth down, on comes the left-footed punter, Kevin Huber, to punt it away. Tariq Cohen is deep for the Bears. And he didn't quite have the backspin on that one. It hits at the four. It continues into the end zone. It's a touchback. And now Chicago getting ready to go as they take the field. And the last drive, the first drive for them, not very good. Three and out. What do they go to here? But you don't look down at your play sheet and say, this is what the problem is. And let's find out who my playmakers are. Get the ball in their hands, and maybe the offense will move a little bit better. Sometimes it's more important to get it to the right people rather than dialing up the right number. Exactly. Or the, the right play, yeah. That too. <laughs> Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. So after the run for no gain, here's second and 10. First carry now for David Montgomery. And he's brought down at the 24 after a gain of four. Call forward, it'll leave him with a third down and six to go. And a nickel look here for the Bengals as they try to defend this on third. From the gun, it's Trubisky. And the throw there going to be incomplete. Well, I've got to give him some credit there. He tried to sell the out route. He tried to sell it hard. And as a receiver, what you're really trying to do is maneuver a defender inside to give yourself a little more cushion breaking to the out. But how about the defender reading it really well, not buying the fake or the maneuver inside, and getting to the sideline and helping break up the pass. Here's Pat O'Donnell now, as he'll punt it away for the second time. His first punt, 48 yards. This one looks equally as good. And we'll see what he can do on the return. It's a return of five following a punt of 42 yards. And the Bengals will take over here first and 10. Now the Cincinnati offense ready to see what they can do here. They punted last time they had it. What steps, Charles, do you think they have to take to make sure they don't do that again? Well, let's just go to the football 101, the trite expression 101. Win first down. Make five, six, seven yards on first down and make it a second and three, second and manageable. Keep accumulating first downs that way. Keep moving the football. Don't want to get behind the sticks because then 
the defense has the advantage. It'll be a gain of four, and that'll make it second down. He's across the 40 to the 41. Here's Kevin Huber now, as he'll kick it away for the second time. And that is much too long. That's into the end zone for a touchback. Here's the Chicago offense coming back out onto the field. And last drive, three and out. Still a goose egg on the scoreboard. How do they break that goose egg? They've got to find a way to get the ball in the hands of their playmakers, get them some space, and try and make a first down and get some momentum going. It's been a struggle for them throughout the game, and that three and out on the last possession, that told you just how stalled they are on offense. So who will step up here? We'll see. After the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 20. On second down, Montgomery. And they're able to get this one across the 35. 16 yards is the pickup there and a first down for Chicago. That O-line, they cleared a big hole there on that run. The athleticism of offensive lines continues to evolve, and we're seeing it here. Not only are they controlling things right at the line of scrimmage, but they're able to get upfield to get to what we call the second and the third levels. You know, get to the linebacker spot, the secondary spot, getting all the way downfield with their blocking, which helps keep the running back clean. They'll try to continue that trend here this afternoon. Trubisky's throw pulled in by Robinson. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. A Chicago first down there on a gain of 11. That looked like a pretty good route combination there because you've got to find a way to clear the guy running the drag because when you do, you can just put the ball on him and then let him run. Yeah, he's got some space. First down, a run with Cohen. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage on the play back at the 46. It's a loss of a yard there, and it's second down. Seemed like they picked an excellent time to blitz there. Well executed. It certainly was. And I remember what he told you before the game. He said, if my blockers just get me to the second level, I can do some damage. Instead, on that play, he got leveled. Second and 11 now. Trubisky, he finds Robinson. This is third and one. Very likely four down territory, even if they don't get it, though. Out of the gun, Trubisky. He's got his tight end, Burton. And he's able to get the first before he's taken down at the 36.
He can't man. He's not gonna get me. Hey, check Mike 57. Montgomery back to the ground. Go, 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 go. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. When we see those runs to the perimeter, when we see those runs to the edge, we think about big breakers, don't we? In this case, it was a modest gain, but it does open up possibilities here on second down. Play action. It's Trubisky. That's complete to the tight end, Broniker. And they move this all the way down to the nine. 23 yards, the final tally. First trip to the red zone for the Bears. They're looking at a first and goal from about the nine. From the shotgun is Trubisky. Stepping up, he's, and he will score. Touchdown, Chicago. A nine yard touchdown run. As his guys are able to strike first here in this opening quarter. That was not a designed run. It was supposed to be a pass but it turned into an exceptional run. What a scramble for a touchdown. Eddie Pinheiro now for the extra point. Boy, these may be an adventure this afternoon, but this one is good. So that drive, 80 yards, nine plays. And it was all capped off by Mitchell Trubisky's touchdown run. team on the field now as they will send this one away. This will be taken short. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. Cincinnati now ready to take the field. And still no points on the scoreboard. You're coming off of the three and out. They're just looking for anything to grab onto right now, aren't they? I'm wondering if someone's going to take charge in the huddle. You know, we always look at look to the quarterback, but sometimes there's another player on the team, a star, a veteran, someone with some excitement and energy. It's like, all right. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Leonard Floyd, the old Georgia Bulldog, fighting his way into the backfield. Following the sack, they'll look to make amends on a second down and 17. Check, 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 check. To throw here, Dalton. He'll find his running back, Joe Mixon. And it looks like we've got a dime set here defensively. Six DBs in the game. On the draw, here's Bernard. Powers through. Just a yard on the run there, and that's going to bring us to a fourth down. That's it, baby. He 
Here's Kevin Huber now, as he's on to punt for Cincinnati. And he's getting a workout here in this first quarter as he gets it away. Here comes Cohen. A big kick there. We'll call it 56 yards on the punt. And the Bears take over. And now Chicago getting ready to go as they take the field. And they will simply, Charles, be looking to duplicate what they did last drive when they were able to push it in for six. And they hope it'll be that easy, right? To be able to take exactly what happened before, replicate it. They may have to make a few additional changes along the way because I'm sure the defense will make some adjustments, but they've got to have great confidence having scored the last time out. Eight yards on the pickup, and now they'll have some options on second and short. Thanks to receivers that spread the defense out, and they were able to come through with a slashing run. But to that point, it's going to be interesting to see the personnel chess match as this one progresses. Yeah, you're exactly right. Can they continue to create running lanes out of passing sets? And if so, it's going to be a long day for the defense. Watch the run, watch the run. On second and a couple. Trubisky under a heavy rush, and down he goes. Nick Vigil coming in hard there on the blitz, and he gets him seven yards behind the line of scrimmage. Brandon, if I'm an offensive coordinator and I see an all-out rush like that, I file it away because I'm going to use their aggressiveness against them as this game goes on. I'm going to hit them with a screen soon. Third down, Trubisky. It's complete. Javon Wims, the open man. And they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. First time these two have hooked up this afternoon, and it's a first down. Trubisky now, 6 of 10 in this first half. He's got his guys a first down here. Now Trubisky going to give this to Montgomery. And a minimal gain here as he's up to about the 47-yard line. It was Nick Vigil there on the stop. They'll run on second down with Cohen. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Officially, it will go as a one-yard loss, and that's going to lead to a third down. Tough sequence there for the offensive line. Well, it gives us a chance to shine a little spotlight on the defensive linemen, on the defensive tackles. They don't normally get a bunch of praise, but it all starts there, doesn't it? If you're going to have a good run defense, they have to hold the point of attack and make plays as they just did there. From the gun on third down, it's Trubisky. Eluding, and he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Carlos Dunlap, the Florida Gator, chopping his way to the quarterback. Here's Pat O'Donnell now, as he's on to punt for Chicago. His first punt, 45 yards. This looks good as well. A 41-yard punt there with no return. And that will come the offense as they take over. Now the Cincinnati offense ready to see what they can do here. The results for them so far not that great. Well, 
not good at all. Three drives, three punts. Yeah, and now what you're doing is you're looking at your play sheet. You're trying to figure out what you're going against defensively. I wonder, are they showing them something they haven't seen or anticipated in practice and maybe that's throwing them off? Or do they just have to go to a different play calling section and try and run some offense that way? And yeah, he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. If these kinds of lanes are available, you have to feel like he's going to have a pretty big game on the ground. Yeah, you can tell early on he's got a little burst in his step, and that's a big pickup right there on first down. They keep it on the ground. This time it's Nixon. And he'll get it up near the 35, right at the 34 here. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Usually we see runs like this as the defense breaks down later in the game, but this guy is setting the tone early, running through all types of tackles and putting the defense back on its heels. To back good plays, have them on the move on first down. Passing, it's Dalton, and the catch good, it's Eifert. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. On second down, Bernard. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. It'll go as a loss of a yard, and it'll set up third down. I'm no offensive mastermind, but of all the guys on the field to block, you might want to stop him. Look, I've got a very simple rule. An unblocked defender is usually your best defender, and he ended up making the play there. And the Bengals on third down. 0 for 3 to this point. They could use a conversion. This is third and four. Dalton now to pass. And tight coverage there. It's knocked away incomplete. I remember growing up playing basketball. My coach has always talked about communicating on defense, making sure you talk on defense, know where your screens are, know where the cuts are coming from, who has who. Well, guess what? It's the same thing in football. Even though there's more noise out there, you can hear all the screams of screen, screen. This defense, the bench, everyone let them know what the play was, and that's why they were able to react and knock the ball away. Punting now is Huber as he sends it away. A beautiful fake. It'll be a net of 40 yards following a punt of 44. And possession will switch. Hands first and 10. Back out onto the field comes Allen Robinson. They've got the lead. They haven't really had to utilize him all that much so far, but I guess if you're winning on the scoreboard, not too much to complain about. Not at all, but you know those guys out wide. They want as many catches as they can possibly get. They may need him later on if things get a little tighter. Yeah, so far, two catches. We'll see what happens here as the game progresses. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. On second down now, it's Montgomery. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. Back-to-back -back runs, I'd say that encompassed maximum effort from minimal gain. Minimal yardage, and now they're going to need something more than minimal on this play coming up. The Bears on third down, two for five to this point. This is third and eight. Now it's Trubisky. And this is Gabriel on the catch. And he works it across the 25 before being tackled. It's a pickup of 10 and a Bears first down. 
Did you see that route the way that I did? I yep. thought he was trying to get deep. Yeah, that first. wasn't the first option. No, not the, it came off of that guy, the deep guy, and came underneath on the drag, completed it very well. here going down back at the 28 that's going to go as a loss of one on first down okay so now the question how did he get that wide open well we both know that he shouldn't because from the time they handed out scouting reports before this game he was circled starred everything find him cover him but sometimes you can scheme a guy open you put the receivers in a bunch Maybe you move some motion. Maybe you put them on the backside of a formation, and all of a sudden you've got a better matchup. Every now and then, the offensive guys, they figure a way to get him open, even with everyone keeping eyes on him. And that's certainly a guy they want to keep trying to scheme open. On second down, it's Montgomery. And they'll wind up getting this to the 37. Gain of nine. to the 34-yard line. Losing two yards that time, and now it's fourth down. Excuse my snarkiness here, but isn't the idea of completing a pass supposed to mean you get downfield and gain yards? Especially on third down. Yeah, that one. How about the defense? Figured that one out in a big way. Yeah, they completed it all right and lost yardage. Here's Pat O'Donnell now, as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. 44 on his first punt, and this is a good kick as well. And this one hits at the three and then bounds let's into go, the end zone for a touchback. All right, let's focus now on Giovanni Bernard. They've given him some touches. They haven't had a lot of success on the ground. Do you maybe keep going to that well, or do you mix it up more? I think you mix it up more, try and loosen things up. Get the defense to react to other people, other plays, but don't forget about it. That's your horse. You know, Secretariat lost twice in his career. <laughs> so educational. That's very true, kids. Look it up. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. It's a Bengal first down, a pickup of 11. Those are the types of runs they told us they want to see more of. Look, they'd love the 60 to 70 yard runs, but those 10 to 20 yarders, they can help you win a ball game. And that means everyone's invested because you know the big guys up front. That's what they do. They try and move people. But when you get your perimeter guys involved downfield, that means that they care about the running game and they know it helps their team. Now Bernard. Found a little room there as he's up to about the 37. It's a six-yard pickup, and it gets him to second and four. It's a pickup of six. Brings up second and four at the 37-yard line. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. It's our time. Mike, Mike, check, check. 59, 59. Dalton with a give here to Mixon. And this winds up a pickup of two, maybe two and a half to about the 39. He is brought down by Buster Screen. A two-yard pickup brings up third and one. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. They give to Mixon to try to pick it up. And he's got the first down yardage as he brings this up to the 47. A strong eight yards will keep this drive rolling. Even though they gave up more than they wanted to on that play, it actually illustrates how well they bottled him up throughout the game because that was 
run of this contest. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. And now to the air, Dalton. That's complete to John Ross. 12 yards that time and a Cincinnati first down. So into Bear territory now. This is first and 10 at the 41. Now Joe Mixon. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. He was able to escape momentarily in the backfield, but you could just kind of tell that wasn't going anywhere. You know, in the film session, he'll get a minus for not getting him on the ground by himself. But with the coaches really going to analyze, how fast did his teammates get there to help him? If one guy slows him up, everyone else better be there, and that's what they got on that play. Second and 12, Dalton. He completes it to Boyd. They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets him up for third down. A game of 10 brings up third and one. Now Bengals on third down, just one for five to this point. They need just a yard here, it's third and one. Mixon. And he'll get this down to about the 30, 31 yard line. A minimal gain there on the eighth play of the drive. Here's Randy Bullock now as he'll go for the field goal. This one from 48 yards away. And his kick is good. Not by much. It was leaking oil in the end, but he tucks it in the bottom right corner. And they are on the board, but still trailing. It's 7-3. to three. So a good kick there to polish off the drive with three points. Yeah, coach is always talking about finishing a drive with a kick. Two of them give you points, either an extra point or, in this case, a field goal. After the field goal now, it's Bullock to kick it away. This is fielded at the chalk of the 10. Solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32-yard line. Here's the Chicago offense coming back out onto the field. And thus far, the weather has not slowed this offense down one bit. They've looked good so far in the first half. They certainly have. And think back to our meeting with the head coach. And we asked him because we saw the forecast for this game, didn't we? He said, hey, have you prepared for this? And he talked about the different drills that they've done in adverse conditions, the wet ball drills, things of that nature. He said, I don't think it's going to slow us down much. We tend to handle it pretty well, and he's been right. Defense. And the dreaded face mask penalty, that's going to cost him 15 yards. And it's such a dangerous play. Body going one way, and then your head gets yanked back the other. 15 yards is the right call. Uh, now it's first and 10. A big mistake, especially when you factor in the personal foul yardage. Following the penalty, Montgomery. Defensively, Sam Hubbard, the former Buckeye, there to stop him. Sam 
Off the play fake, here's Trubisky. Open man, Taylor Gabriel. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Bengals' 18. at the 10 with a solid pickup of eight. Eight yards the tally on that first down run. Here's second and two. Trubisky gives to Cohen. And he's able to work it here to the eight yard line. Give him two yards, that sets him up first and goal. One thing I do know that offensive linemen like, they like a guy who's carrying the ball that will take what is blocked. Not try and create a big play and maybe take a loss, not try and go where the blocking isn't. But if it's just all that's there and you just put your head and your shoulders down and get that, you get the respect of the big guys up front. They'll run with Montgomery. And they'll get this from the eight to the five. Pick up a three. And the ball smack dab on the five-yard line. Here's second and goal. Now they'll throw it with Trubisky. Stepping up, he's going to keep it. And a minuscule gain of maybe a yard from the six to the five. All that gets him is just a yard, and now it's third down. They brought the blitz that time, and I thought they were going to get to him, but instead, he flipped it on its ear and ended up picking up positive yardage. I thought he was dead to rights, but you are exactly correct, sir, able to turn that into a positive game. On third and goal, Trubisky. And he's got his man, that's Robinson. Touchdown, Bears. A five-yard touchdown catch as the Bears push further out in front. And down near the goal line here, they're able to throw it in. And the key word, quick. Quick hitter out of his hands fast, into the receiver's hands even faster. Pinheiro now to add the extra point. And this one's right through to make it a 14-3 ball game. So this drive spans seven plays, and the end result is a Bears touchdown. it away and off it goes that'll be taken in the end zone and no run back here this will be a touchback and it comes out to the 25 yard line Cincinnati now ready to take the field and this not an easy situation you're down early in the elements you're on the road how do you get the mojo back well one thing is to remember that as an offensive player you have a much better idea of what you're trying to accomplish and where you're trying to go than the defender. So in this case, because you know it, you can make your cuts with a little more decisiveness, maybe a second fake, some double moves, things of that nature, to go ahead and try and put some pressure on the defense. Mike 
Second and six, just inside the 30. Andy Dalton. He gets this one to Boyd. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. 18 yards on that one, and the Bengals are moving. First down. Mixon with a first down carry. And he's got it across midfield and into Bear territory. Danny Trevathan there to bring him down. On second down now. Bernard, and they'll get this just to the 47, one yard gain. Well, not a huge game there as we head towards the two minute warning. It'll be interesting to me to see what they decide to do after the timeout. We've got a 14-3 ball game with two minutes left in the opening half. We got four. Reminder, coming up at halftime, while the two of us head for warmer areas of the press box, we'll be sending you to Orlando, where Jonathan Coachman will have highlights in the Nalik. Under heavy pressure, and down goes Dalton on the sack. Now the Bears going to call the first of their timeouts. So as they take it over, we step aside. Here's Kevin Huber now. He's been one of their few bright spots so far. And he deserves a bronze leg as he gets this one away. And a nice job here on special teams. This will be down inside the 10 at the 8-yard line. Absolutely love the flexibility of these punters. Their leg drive, able to get it way up in the air. And that allows the punt team to get down there and down it inside the 10 because they've had some time. Tariq Cohen and the rest of the offense heading back out there. We're in the second quarter. They've got the lead. The lead, though, not so much because of the ground game, because of their air attack, Charles. So what they're seeing so far is the possibility of things loosening up later in the ground game. Through the air first. Maybe they have to start respecting that even more as the game goes on. And then there will be running lanes to find later. Yeah, try to get him more involved here on this drive, maybe. Draw play here, Trubisky gives to Cohen, and they'll bring him down here up at about the 22-yard line. Now the Bears going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. Throw on first down with Trubisky, sliding out of the pocket. And he's going to keep it here. A nice job there on the escape and scramble. A first down, a 16-yard gain. Partner, as a quarterback, sometimes you just got to know when the clock has gone off in your head, it's time to go. Tuck it and get all you can. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Let's go. From the gun, it's Trubisky. Out to. Now Trubisky lost the football, and the Bengals grab it. Look at this. 
across the middle of the field, a breakaway. And this is taken into the end zone, a fumble recovery and a Cincinnati touchdown. They give some kudos to the defensive coordinator, I think, here. They bring the blitz, they dial it up, and it turns into six points for them. It's so nice to hear you actually give kudos to the defense. It is so nice to such an offensive guy like that. I love it. He dialed things up, and boy, a big play resulted for his guys. Well, you like the credit to the defense there, right, my friend? Yeah, you do, do I ever. Extra point through the snowflakes, up and good. And that makes it a 14-10 ball game. The scoop and score, always an exciting play in football, and we witnessed it there, grabbing it off the ground and then rumbling it into the end zone for six. This one taken just inside the 10. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. Getting set to go again as we look at the back heading onto the field again. A good job in the passing game. Decent job in the running game, but really they've been more effective uh, through the air. We'll see if that shifts at all as this goes on. Thus far, it feels like they're calling this game in reverse. Normally, you run to set up the pass. Here, it feels like they're passing, hoping to set up the run and be more effective later on in the game. Yeah, you can do it both ways. We usually talk about it in the reverse, however. No doubt about it. A three-yard pickup brings up second and seven at the 32-yard line. Double time, double time. So we've reached halftime here in a four-point game. As we send you down to Orlando, where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome, everyone, to this abridged version of the EA Sports Halftime Report. The snow certainly making conditions difficult, and it's not likely to get better anytime soon. As we turn it right back over to Brandon and Charles. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. Too many breaks ahead, according to the radar. More snow on the horizon as we are back underway in half number two. This one taken just inside the 10. And not a bad return here. He gets it out to the 25-yard line. Here we go. The Bengal offense now with a football first here to begin quarter number three. These guys had to punt last time. It has not been a very fruitful game offensively thus far. They haven't even made a trip to the red zone. And I know that everyone's going crazy on that sideline because that drives you berserk to come off the field, not really move the ball well. As you said, not even get to the red zone, let alone, you know, not even put points on the board. They've got to just take a deep breath, relax, try and figure out what is working, and call more of that. It's interesting going into this game, there was so much talk from both sides about who would control the line of scrimmage. I think we've seen who has it in this one so far. Well, they bottled him up. He's barely averaging over three yards a carry right now. A draw play, Bernard. And that didn't fool anybody. He's gonna be dropped in the backfield. That's gonna go down as a loss of five, and it brings up third down. 
So they were going draw play there. The defense wasn't fooled. They sniffed it out. I think they're going to have to go back and take a few more acting classes because that's what a lot of that is. You've got to influence them to think that it's going to be a pass play and have them drop out and maybe the defensive front coming forward and find yourself some space. In this case, no one was fooled and ended up spilling that play pretty well. Third and long, what will Dalton dial up? And this is going to be incomplete. So it appears they're going to come up empty on this first drive of the second half, still down by that slim margin. Yeah, and that's okay. You know, when, when you sit and analyze it, they're not happy about what happened having to go to the bench, but this gives them a chance to let their defense do some work while they on the sidelines go over what they're doing offensively and formulate a proper plan. Oh, the Bears break through and they block it. It's picked up, and this is a live ball, remember. And they are going to get the football here at the five-yard line. Now, so much for pinning him really deep. Short punt could have pinned him inside the 10. Now great field position the other way. It's never good when you're punting the ball and your eyes see the ball go back behind you. <laughs> no. In however form, whether it's over your head or to the side, never good. Now it becomes a race to get to the football so they don't pick it up and take it all the way. They come out here in the eye. So a great special teams play. They block the punt and excellent field position first and goal. Montgomery, and yeah, this play doesn't go anywhere. Backwards, losing yardage to the 11. Uh, he lost six there on the first down play. Bear in mind, that wasn't a big lineman back there for the tackle for loss. That was a cornerback. So are you saying the myth has been shattered? That all of them are not just cover corners? Some of them actually will stick their nose in and tackle when necessary? That's what we just saw, isn't it? So they get pushed back to the 11, and here's second and goal. Here's Trubisky. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. So they come out of the locker room trailing, but plays like that, they won't be trailing much longer. Defense really starting out well this second half. Yeah, they knew they had to jumpstart things a little bit. They really struggled in the first half trying to slow them down. But now they had a plan, made that adjustment that we always talk about, and it worked very well on that play. To the sack, third and goal now from the 12. Now Trubisky. And that is caught, but the bank judge right there to say incomplete. I know you felt like saying touchdown there, didn't you, partner? That looked like a sure six points, but the contact jarred it free. Got his hands on it, could not hold on through the end of the play. Now for the field goal try, here's Eddie Pinheiro. The kick by Pinheiro is good. And that moves him up by a touchdown now at 17-10. The bottom line, tremendous starting field position really squandered there as they wind up going backwards and then come up with just three. Well, getting the three turned out to be important. I can imagine a head coach when he ordered the field goal Please salvage something out of this drive. That was not fun to watch. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. This will be fielded at the eight. And not a bad return here. He gets it out to the 25-yard line. Now the Cincinnati offense ready to see what they can do here. They find themselves down 17-10 as they come up on a first and 10. So here's Dalton and the Bengals now, first and 10 at their 25-yard line. 
Dalton here from the gun. He's going to have the hook up to Ross. And he'll get it up to the 33-yard line. Seven yards to pick up on the pitch and catch. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. Dalton gives to Bernard. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. Four yards to pick up, first down. Let's face it, when you have a guy who can pick up those types of runs and keep the chains moving or stay ahead of the chains, you're making everyone else on offense happy because you're opening things up to allow for a whole lot of different play calls. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Mix it. And they bring him to the ground just by midfield. 12 yards that time and a Cincinnati first down. We often give credit to the O-line. Their two tight end formation, those tight ends block pretty well also. Yeah, and that's one of the most dynamic positions in football now. The tight ends who can block at the line of scrimmage at the point of attack, and they can also get downfield and catch the football. On first and ten, here's Andy Dalton. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. That's sacked by Khalil Mack. So that complicates things a bit here. 18 yards to go now on second down. Now Mixon. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. That'll be a loss of a yard, and it leads to a third down. First down sack, second down negative rushing play. And I will guarantee you right now the head coach is weighing in on his headset to the offense coordinator, whether he thinks it's strategy or he thinks it's execution, because that's going to determine this next play call. Are you staying with what you're doing, or are you going in a different direction? And now they're looking for 19 yards here on third down following two negative plays. And Dalton to throw on the screen, Bernard. And able to rip off a big chunk of yardage before being dropped inside the 40. Last play, they got stuffed at the line. Different story here, over 20 yards. They ran that one well. And not only did they pick up a nice chunk of yardage on the screen, they sent a message to the defense. Rush the passer all you want, but you better be careful. We can hit you going back the other direction. So into Bear territory now. This is first and 10 at the 39-yard line. Dalton on the draw to Mixon. And this one's going to go the wrong way. Losing yardage back at the 42. Call it a full three yards in the wrong direction there. Brings up second down. I believe I understand where the offense was going there. They just hit a big pass play, thought they could fool them with a run, but maybe they overthought it a little bit. Just hit a nice pass, come back with another one, keep the momentum going. That loss of three, a rare stumble on a promising drive. Here's second and 13. From the gun, Dalton looks to throw. Pressure, and he's taken down. A bear sack. Khalil Mack able to get in there for his second sack of the afternoon. So one quick, easy analysis about why they've struggled so far. They keep putting themselves in third and long situations. They just took another sack right there. And the offensive film session tomorrow may be a little longer than it normally is. <laughs> Not a lot of positive grades will be handed out thus far. So the sack, and now it's third and long for Dalton and the Bengals. Out of the gun, it's Dalton. That one complete to the former Seminole, Auden Tate. They get seven there, but it brings up fourth. 
So look at this. Here's the field goal unit coming out. And he is going to need to bomb this one. They spot it on the midfield stripe. So it is a 60-yard attempt here. And that one's not going to get there. Not enough juice and ambitious effort, but it's well short. And this score will stay right where it is. Down here in the third quarter, obviously that's one they could have used. Yeah, and one of my favorite special teams coaches in the NFL told me, what separates the kickers in the NFL versus the ones who are not it's not the misses, it's the second miss in a row. Best kickers in the league, they don't miss two in a row. Together in case he gets another shot. Well, they tried the field goal from just inside at 70 yards. It missed, and now this offense set up nicely at midfield. Now a fake on the give here as they try the run pass option. And he's going to be swallowed up. Sacked back at the 45-yard line. Carlos Dunlap picks up his second sack of the afternoon. That's his second sack of the game. And the best defensive ends, they do their homework as much as offensive guys do. They know how to beat the offensive lineman across from them, what moves they need to do to set them up. This guy's been pretty good at it all game long. Protection certainly going to need to be a bit better here on second and 16. Out of the gun, running with Cohen. And he'll only get a yard, maybe two, up to the 46. And this is why aggressive defense coordinators love to it because they end up taking their attention to the blitzers, freed up the D linemen to make the play. Now Trubisky on third and long. He's got Burton here. And they'll bring him down right at midfield, and he is well short of the first down. They stop him for only three that time, and that'll bring up fourth down. Excellent job there defensively. Gave up the underneath to the tight end on third down, and they made sure that they did their job. Got him on the ground and prevented him picking up a first down. Here's Pat O'Donnell now. He'll boot it away from about his 35. Averaging 50 yards of boot so far as this one's away. And that one hits at the seven, but bounds into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. And out now, here come the Bengals. And the last go around for them, they tried that really, really long field goal, couldn't connect. And in retrospect, I think a lot of people would say, well, why would you try one that long? You hurt yourself in field position. The ball comes out, you know, there. That only helps the other team. But I look at it as maybe it was a double shot of confidence. Confident the kicker could make it. And even if he missed, confident in their defense that they could hold him. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. The end result, 21 yards. Doesn't matter whether it's a zone coverage or a man coverage, the drag route can be effective when it's run well. Andy Dalton now. Five straight completions here in this second half. First and ten. On the run, it's Mixon. Looking for a seam, but finding none. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. It was the linebacker, Leonard Floyd, on the stop. And when the defense wins and gives up no yardage on a running play, that's something they can build on and carry themselves forward throughout the game. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. Again, it's Mixon. And he's going to bowl his way forward to the 48. Yeah, he's able to get most of what he needed on the carry there. Seven yards on the gain, and it's third and two now. Well, there's an example of patience being rewarded. 
ran the ball on first down and got stuffed. Most people would scream, throw the ball here in this situation. They stayed with their roots, stayed with running the football, and they got rewarded. On third down, Mixon. Well, this is going to depend on the spot, but it's not a very generous one. He looks to be about a yard or so short. He needed three. He got two. Now that will set up an interesting situation here on fourth and a yard. Well, they picked up a portion of it, but not all that they needed. Now that leads to a decision on fourth and one. Let's see what they decide to do. Here's Kevin Huber now. Remember, though, he did have one blocked earlier. This is away and a very good kick angled for the sidelines. And this will be out of bounds, and they spot it at the 15-yard at the line. Not too bad. And now Chicago getting ready to go as they take the field. This crew had to punt last time they had the ball, but when you've got a lead like this, you can tend to play the field position game. You are to an extent, especially if you like your defense, because you have the lead, you've been controlling the game. But why put them in a tougher spot? You want to get out there and get something done on offense and maybe take command of this game yourself. And way up past the 35 before he's taken down. That's good for 21 yards and a first down. Looked like they picked a heck of a time to run the counter. And we've been saying that in this great game of football probably since we started playing. Anytime you get guys thinking you're going to go one way and you hit back the opposite side, oh, it's a great chance it can turn into the type of play we just saw there, a big gainer. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Now Trubisky to throw. This is Gabriel out on the left side. And down he goes at the 45 after a pickup of nine. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. A quick throw out wide caught by Robinson. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. A Chicago first down there on a gain of 11. First down there. So they'll come up in Bengals territory now with a first and 10 at the 44-yard line. They'll try to counter here, Cohen. And he'll lose yardage here, back at the 47. A loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. Well, he can be a load to handle off the edge, and he can do it against the pass. Sure, he can do it against the run like he did there. And you mentioned a load. How about having to adjust to his speed as well? Because not only does he bring some pop, he brings some dash as well. A nice play in that situation. They try again with Cohen. Give him two yards that time, and it's going to leave him with a third and 11 situation. He can run for it, and he will. And past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. Opted to run for it. The decision, a good one. Picking up the first, getting 14 yards on the scramble. Under the category of obvious, you hate giving up a first down on third and long. And somehow, he finds his way downfield and picks it up. Yeah, if you look at the coverage defensively, oh, this is great, but no one accounted for him at the quarterback spot. At some point, you actually have to tackle him and get him on the ground short of the first down marker. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. A play fake to Montgomery. Now Trubisky stepping up. He'll try and run. He'll get five out of the scramble. It's second down. 
So many times we talk about having good eye discipline when you're playing defense, making sure your eyes are in the proper place on a given play. Looks like that discipline came to the front there, didn't it? They were able to hold him for a short gain when he took off running. On second down, it's Cohen. And he's able to get it to the edge of the red zone at the 20-yard line. Seven yards there and a first down. Well, this has been a long drive. In fact, it's eaten up a good chunk of the third quarter, which is precisely what you want when you're playing with the lead. You control the football, you control the clock, and impose your will on the defense. All runs on this drive so far. It's first and ten. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage back at the 22. A loss of two there. Second down. Trying to get one more in here before the quarter breaks. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Draw play, Cohen. And able to fight forward inside the 15 to the 13. A nice job there as he rumbles for nine. And it'll be back to a third and three. And it's third down. The Bears on third down. They've converted five times in their many chances thus far. This time it's third and three. Throwing here, Trubisky. He'll buy some time right. He may try and run for this. And he'll be taken down at the two-yard line. Nothing open downfield. He keeps it himself for 11 and a first down. All right, partner, I'm a defender, but I've got to express my admiration there. Moving around, making it happen, and instead of worrying about protecting himself, he goes and gets the first down. I've got to give it to him on that one. Normally, you don't want your guy taking shots, your quarterback, but... It's winning time here in the fourth quarter. If he needs to make those plays with the legs, go ahead, right? Yeah, no doubt about it. It's, at this stage of the game, all protections, they're off. So first and goal, six points here would go a long way toward wrapping this one up. Nothing doing there. They're going to wind up holding him at the two. No gain there as he kept it himself at second down. Second and goal, and they will try again from the two-yard line. They'll run for it with Montgomery. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. Nothing doing there as the 13th play of the drive proves to be unlucky. Now, obviously, that's some good work there defensively, being able to stop them and bring up a key third down. But if you're on the offensive side of the ball, there's an opportunity, because I know what defensive guys are thinking right now, to stop them, get to the ball. That means they might not be sound defensively. There could be some opportunities. And you said key third down. Highlight that word. Put it in bold. Here we go. A lot of tired bodies on that field. But this is a big play. Third and goal. Now it's Trubisky. Flushed it, and he will score! Touchdown, Chicago! Taking it in from four yards out as the Bears push further out in front. They were looking to pass the ball there, but they forgot to account for the man with the football. Yeah, I can hear people right now saying, well, why don't you have a spy in your defense, someone who will dance with him and go where he goes? Well, oftentimes, if you utilize a spy, You've taken away someone in coverage as well. And oftentimes, the spy, not as athletic as the guy he's trying to keep up with, so he gets defeated anyway. And he turns third and goal into a touchdown. Pinheiro now to add the extra point. And the lead is up to 14. 
That one was an extended drive. 14 plays all. And it was capped off by Mitchell Trubisky's touchdown run. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. This is taken about seven yards deep, and no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. The Bengals' offense now, they head back onto the field and hoping to do better than they did their last possession when they punted the football. Appeal to the vanity of your offensive line. Tell them that they control your fate. Leverage guys, win the line of scrimmage. If you do that, you start to win first down. You win second down. And guess what? You start accumulating first downs. And that's what they need in order to not punt the ball again. 12 yards that time at a Cincinnati first down. All right, this is the time of the game where they're down a couple of scores. And they've really got to get some yards in chunks. And they know the defense doesn't want to give those up. But they've got to find a way to take them anyway. Now the question is, can they string a few of those together? Andy Dalton now, six for six since coming back out of the locker room. It's first and ten. They run on first down as they're able to get this forward for about four. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. Second down, Dalton. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on in third down. Brings up third down and six yards to go. And the Bengals on third down. They've converted just twice and have had plenty of opportunities. This will be third and six. Passing, it's Dalton. Well, the two men come together, and it's incomplete. Excellent work defensively. Brings up fourth down. Here's Kevin Huber now, as he's on to punt for Cincinnati. Calls for the fair catch, makes the fair catch just inside the 15-yard line. So possession goes over here on the punt, and it'll be first and 10 Bears from deep in their own territory. Here's the Chicago offense coming back out onto the field. And they had to go the length of the field last time out to get into the end zone. And with this starting field position, they're going to have to pretty much do it again. And I think the thought process going into it is, hey, if you have to be methodical, go ahead and do that. But what you really want are a couple of big plays. Eat up chunks of yardage and cut down the number of times you have to snap the football. Meanwhile, they take a shot to start the drive, but this is going to wind up incomplete. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and 10. On second down, Montgomery. And just not a ton of room to work with. He'll get it to the 15 for a gain of two. Well, that's a good start to this drive on the defensive side of the ball. And force the incompletion on first down. Then you're able to shut down the running play on second. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised now. A little bit of pressure going at the quarterback in the expected passing situation. From the gun on third down, it's Trubisky. And that is incomplete.
Here's Pat O'Donnell now, standing just about on his own goal line. And this is away. It's a high kick, and he got all of it. This is taken at the 23. Officially, that'll be a 63-yard punt. Well done. And the Bengals will take over here first and 10. The Bengal offense now gets set to head back out onto the field. And they'll be looking to avoid what happened last time, which is punting the football. But when you look at how teams play the game, that complimentary football comes into play. How do I take care of my defense? How do I take care of my offense? Well, the defense is taking care of them in a lot of ways. Now it's time for the offense to jump things up and help their defense out, give them a little bit of rest. Yeah, time, time for them to give them a rest. Took the words right out of my mouth. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. Now Dalton got his man at Eifert. No gain that time on the completion, and it'll be third down. No gain on the play. Makes it third and two. They have the catch on second down, but it didn't help at all, and now they're looking at third down here. Operating from the gun. Dalton looking for Tate, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Kyle Fuller. This spot in the fourth quarter with that deficit had to throw the football. Unfortunately, there's the risk of big turnover. And you know you're going to be throwing against nickel, dime, all sorts of exotic defenses, but you have to do it anyway. Ordinarily, you might want to run the football a little bit, try and get them out of it. But as you noted, this time of the game, this point on the clock, had to throw it. And now Chicago getting ready to go as they take the field. And on the last go around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means you're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency, move the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the field. Yeah, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. A gain of a yard brings up second and nine at the Bengals' 42-yard line. Crunch time, defense. Back to the ground, this time Montgomery. Not much there, maybe a couple as he's taken down at the four. And that's why you see a lot of teams that like to play 4-3 defense, especially against teams that run the ball really well. Because you count on your defensive front, the tackles and the ends, to eat up the blocking in the offensive line and keep that guy in the middle clean so he can roam through the football and make a tackle. In this case, he introduced himself and said, hello, my name is Mike. Now it's Trubisky. He's got his tight end, Burton. And he's going to get this inside the 30. A gain there of 12 yards and a first down for the Bears. And after that completion, you can understand why so many teams in the league are emphasizing speed on defense at every position. The tight ends have created so many tough matchups now. If you can't run with a tight end as a linebacker, it's going to be the result every time. Trubisky now perfect since the second half started. Seven of seven. It's first and ten. From the shotgun is Trubisky. Open man, Taylor Gabriel. And he is in. Touchdown, Chicago. Taylor Gabriel, 28 yards as the Bears push further out in front. And there they got him the ball. Just get it to him, let him do the rest. You know, he probably said that to his quarterback as he broke the huddle. I like the play call. Just get it to me. I'll take care of the rest of it. Helping out his rack, right, RAC? Run after catch, and he loves that, and he's going to carry that in at contract time. Pinheiro now to add the extra point. And the lead now to three touchdowns at 21 points. Drive four 
plays. And it culminates in a touchdown for Chicago. team on the field now as they will send this one away that's fielded in the end zone and no run back here this will be a touchback and it comes out to the 25 yard line getting set to go again Andy Dalton marches back onto the field and that interception that ended their previous drive likely also ended any shot they had a victory yeah long road back from here no doubt about that one but let's face it if you're going to go out there and compete you want to try and end on a strong note don't you absolutely it won't end in a victory like you said but they can maybe take something positive out of this one Here's a second and two now from the 33. Three butt, three butt, three butt. Here's Dalton. He completes it to Boyd. And he'll bring it up here to right at the 40-yard line. Seven yards there and a first down. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and 10. Here's Dalton. He'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. A good first down call as the screenplay gets him. Catch short of the marker by just a yard. Leaves him with a very manageable second and one. Another chance for Dalton. And he's going to go down. They sack him back at the 42. Khalil Mack able to disrupt yet another pass play. That is his third sack of the afternoon. I remember throughout my career here in defensive coaches always say, guys, you've got to earn the right to rush the passer. Well, they put themselves in a great spot with this big lead and they know they've got to throw the ball. These pass rushers have to be salivating. It is pin your ears back time indeed. And the Bears in the nickel. No, wait, they're in the dime. Six DBs out there on third. Could play an exotic coverage. Dalton now to pass. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. Bernard churning, and he lost the football. And this is picked up by the Bears. And he will score. Touchdown, Chicago. So the defense forces the fumble. They get the score. And a guy on defense becoming offensive there, Charles. And you know they love that. Any guy on defense loves to pick up the ball and have it in his hands and try and score himself. In this case, that's exactly what happened. He'll be singing in the shower postgame. Pinheiro now to add the extra point. And he's been a busy man. Five for five now as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. So not only the cough up, but then the pick up on the other side, the scoop and the score the other way, the fumble return for a touchdown. So here's the kickoff now as he'll get it again following that fumble return for a score. That's fielded in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. 
Cincinnati now ready to take the field. They're sort of seeing themselves spiral out of control. Let's see if they can get things back on track. And this is where the coach is walking that line of being calm and really being firm with his team. Add one, tell me one, see that when we're having a tough patch. This two shall pass, this two shall pass, and finally we kept having a rough patch. He said, but you got to do something Heads up. to make control back, get themselves reasserted, and calm things down. See if they can get calm and reassert themselves here. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. Let's go deep, tighten up. Let's go deep, tighten up. Andy Dalton. Now they go screen. It's complete. And he's going to lose yards. They take him down at the 26. It's a loss of four. Now third down. I thought that wasn't a bad time to call the screen. I thought late game, down on the scoreboard, had to figure they were expecting a pass downfield. Yeah, so the edge rushers, they're coming. That could have hit big. You're right. Good recognition defensively to snuff that one out. Well, that last completion is certainly not what they were hoping for as now they'll try to convert on third. On the draw, here's Bernard. And a good job defensively. They stop him short of the first at the 32. It's a gain of five on the play, and it'll bring up a fourth down. Here's Kevin Huber now, as he's on to punt for Cincinnati. His first punt, 45 yards. This looks good as well. That'll be a 47-yard punt, officially five on the return. And the Bears take over. And now the Bears coming out as they get ready. This ball game certainly has gotten a little out of hand. This is normally when they say you got to fill. This is fill time for guys like you and I. But yeah, you know, to be frank, just a dominating performance. Really impressive what we've seen. It is, and I'm glad that you went in that direction because otherwise we're going to, have to talk about the museum tour we took yesterday, which was also impressive. Which was also very yeah. impressive. But this game, how they've done it: offense, defense, special teams. They put it all together. And I got to tell you. I am beyond impressed by what I've seen from this team. When you have someone throwing it that well, that confidently, you don't have to call the game in fear at all, do you? You just go ahead and play. Yep, confidence with a lead to throw it here in the fourth, and boom, he's on the money. Yeah, you don't have to tuck your head in and, take, and go like turtle at this point. You can just go ahead and play. So quickly all the way up at the 40-yard line. Silver, silver. And able to rip off a big chunk of yardage before being dropped inside the 40. An excellent run of 22 yards on the keeper and also a first down. Pretty nice play here. They go read option, read the defensive end, and when he collapsed down inside, how about the quarterback pulling it, keeping it, and not only getting to the second level, but picking up some really nice yardage. Very, very well read. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Rush in, rush in, rush up. First down, a run with Cohen. And the play goes nowhere. Losing yardage back near the 40 at the 39. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. When this offense gathers to watch the tape, they're going to like a lot of what they saw. They put up big numbers, but they might fast forward through that last play. Oh, there won't be any fast forwarding, partner. I've sat in those sessions before. You end up spending more time on the bad plays than you do on the good ones. That's just the nature of coaches. But I know sitting in that room, when you've had a big game, the night that they've had, you don't want to hear that. You just want to focus on the good stuff. On second and 11 now. Trubisky. He'll run it. And he works it to the 30-yard line here, right at the 30. Yeah. 
They'll try to run for it with Cohen. And he's got the first as they'll bring him down at the 28-yard line. Got what he needed for the first down with a gain of two. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So the Bears with the football here as we welcome you back. And they have just about put this one on ice as they've got it here first and 10. First down, here's the run with Montgomery. And he's brought down at the 24 after a gain of four. Again, they'll go ground with Montgomery. And he'll be brought down inside the 20 at the 19. It's a five-yard game, but they'll still be a yard short here with third down now looming. This will be play number seven on the drive. Third and a yard. Trubisky now off the bootleg. Caught by Montgomery. And he picks up the first down yardage as he takes it down to the 16. They only get two there, but on third and one, that's all they needed to keep the drive going. So this one in the win column for the Chicago Bears, and they were buoyed, Charles, by a big second half to put this one on ice. And I know a lot of people watching this one were thinking to themselves, I'll bet halftime was really interesting. Probably took the paint off the walls with some of the words that were said, <laughs> but I get the sense that it was much more of the adjustments they made. They came in with a game plan that we saw that didn't work in the first half. They made the adjustments necessary, went away from that, and then they got it together got a spark, and then took off. It's really nice to watch in the second half. So that'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. With that, we say so long from Cincinnati.